Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMakeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up an external hard drive to your PlayStation 4. This particular one is a slim, it will also work on the Pro and the original PlayStation 4 as well. So you would want to do this if you're starting to run out of storage space and you're struggling to download games because you're out of space, so you're having to delete some, play some, then download the old ones again when you want to play them, which is a bit of a pain. Now it's really easy just to install an external hard drive. This is fully supported as of the software that came out earlier on in 2017, which was a software version 4.50. So you can't just plug in any external drive, it has to meet a certain spec. It has to be USB 3 or later. So if you already have a USB 2 hard drive lying around the place, unfortunately you can't use that. It has to be 3 and also it has to be bigger than 250 gigabytes and less than eight terabytes. So remember there's a thousand gigabytes in one terabyte, so it has to be in between 250 gigabytes and 8,000 gigabytes. So the one I'm using in this video here is a Seagate one terabyte, and you can see here it says USB three. So if we have a look at the lead here, you can also tell it's got a blue color on the inside, which normally indicates that it's USB three. So all we have to do is plug in the supplied lead into one end of it and then we're going to plug the other end into the PlayStation 4. But I'm just going to answer a few questions to begin with because a lot of people have these questions. Can you install more than one of these? So this is a one terabyte one. If we fill this one up, can we then install a two terabyte one? No, only one will work at a time. You can format two at the same time, but only one of them is going to be operational. So if you think you're going to get a lot of games, you might want to consider getting something bigger than one terabyte. Maybe look for two terabytes or four terabytes. Now, you can't share this between a PC and here. Once we format this to the PlayStation 4, we're going to wipe all the information that's on here. So if you've already got a load of photos and stuff on your PC and you've got them on here, you won't be able to keep it. So if this is important to you, go out and buy yourself another hard drive just for the PlayStation 4. Now you will be able to save your games and your apps and stuff on here, but you won't be able to save the game saves on here and things like videos and screenshots and stuff like that. They're all going to be on the internal storage. But the main thing that takes up the space is the games and we can either move them from the internal one to here and we can also set it up so when you download a new game from the PlayStation Store it can go straight on here or you can choose. It can go to your internal or your external. You can choose. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So on the PlayStation Slim we're going to be using one of the ports at the front. You can see now the indicator lights lit up and let's see what the PlayStation is going to say. Right, it says the USB storage device file system is unsupported. So that's not a problem, we just need to format it. So let's format it now, so I'm just going to leave that there. So we're going to go up to settings and we're going to press X. And we're going to go down to devices and press X. And we're going to go down to USB storage devices and press X. And now it's recognized it here. So we're going to press X and it says here, format as extended storage. So that's what the PlayStation call it. They call it extended storage. And it says here that it's one terabyte. So let's format as extended storage. So press X. And now it says you can install applications in extended storage. However, save data, screenshots and video clips will only be saved in the system storage. So they're only going to be saved in the internal storage of the PlayStation itself. So we're going to go to next and it says the device will be formatted as extended storage. When you format this device, all the data will be deleted. So like I mentioned earlier, make sure there's nothing important on there and press X. This device will be formatted as extended storage. Are you sure you want to continue? So we have to move to yes and press X. So I'm just going to fast forward through this bit. Right, and it's come up with this device has been formatted as extended storage. So applications will now be installed in extended storage. So at the moment, by default, everything that you buy from the PlayStation Store will go straight onto the external hard drive. And it says to stop using the extended storage, press and hold the PS button to display the quick menu and then select sound devices, stop using extended storage. So basically, we can't just pull it out. Let's say now if you want to bring this to someone's house, you can't just yank it out. You have to do it in a certain way, but I will show you that later in the video. So basically now, it's as simple as that. It says here we've got 918 gigabytes to use. So let me just get out of this now. 
and let me go up to settings and let me go down to storage and press X and now it's going to calculate what I've got. So at the moment this PS4 isn't full, it's only got 248 gigabytes on it. But let's say now if I did want to move something to the extended storage, all I've got to do is press X, you can see you can highlight either one of them. And also, if you look at extended storage, it says there application install location. So that basically means, like I just said, that all the stuff from the PlayStation Store will get downloaded to extended storage. But what we can do is if we want to change that, we can just go to options, and then you can see it says application install location, so we can press X, and we can change that to system storage if we want. And now, can you see it's moved up to the top one there? So now if I was to download something, it's gonna to go to system storage. So I'm just gonna leave it on there at the moment, and I'm gonna move something from the system storage over to the hard drive. So let's go to applications, and I'm gonna move a game over. So let's move Drive Club over, that's 34 gigabytes and we'll see how long it takes. You won't have to sit through this, I will just fast forward. So Drive Club's nearly 35 gigabytes, so we will time it to see how long that takes. So we need to hit Options, and now if you have a look on the side here, it says to delete, sort by, or move to extended storage. So we wanna move it to extended storage, so I'm gonna press X, and then it says select all. Well, I don't wanna select all, I just wanna select Drive Club, so I'm gonna hit X, and now I'm gonna go down to move. And now it says the selected application will be moved to extended storage. Let's see how long it takes. Let's estimate that it's going to take six minutes and the time now is 1.18. Right, so as you can see there, it took a lot longer than six minutes, it took more like 10 minutes for that to go through, but still it was a big file, it was near enough 35 gigabytes. Right, okay, so let's have a look now. So now if we were to have a look here, you can see now system storage has gone down by 35 gigabytes and the extended storage has gone up by 35 gigabytes. So it's a very easy process to do. Now, with it, you can't use it via a USB hub, so it has to be plugged directly into the PlayStation. Don't put it via a hub, even if it was a USB 3 hub. And if you have a look now, it will still show up exactly the same as it always has done, so it doesn't matter whether it's on internal or external, and you will still be able to play it. So as you can see, that works absolutely fine. Now it doesn't matter that the game's on the external hard drive, yet the game save data is going on the internal hard drive. It still works flawlessly between both of them. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna plug this into a different PlayStation 4 just to see what happens. I've got Drive Club on here now. Let's see what happens if we were to bring this to a friend's house and then plug it into their one just to see if we can play Drive Club via their PlayStation. So so what we have to do is we have to remove this safely. Don't just yank it out because you can end up having trouble with the data that's on your device. So what we have to do is just press and hold the PlayStation button and then if we go up to sound and devices, you can see down at the bottom here, we've got stop using extended storage. So that's by far the easiest way to do it. You can also do it from your main menu as well. So if we were to go up to settings and press X, and if we go down to devices and press X, then we can go to USB storage devices. And then from there, we press X, and then you see here it says stop using this extended storage and we can just press X there. But I find the other ways just quicker. Hold down your PlayStation button to get the quick menu up and then go down to sound and devices and down to stop using extended storage and press X. All applications in use will be closed. Do you want to continue? X. We have stopped using the extended storage. You can safely disconnect it. Okay, so now we can unplug this but yet it will still show it is up there. So remember, Drive Club's been moved, but yet if I look up here now, I can still see it. But when I go to play it, 
it won't let me play it because it's asking me to plug in the extended storage device. So what happens now if we were to break this or lose this? Would we be able to get our games back? Well, yes, we would, because all we would have to do is go to Options. So we're on Drive Club now. Go to Options, and then we would go to Delete. Okay, so that's gone from there. And then all we would have to do is go over to our library, press X, and then if we go down to where it says purchase on the left hand side, you will now see here it says Drive Club and there's a little arrow pointing down, meaning I can download it again. So if I was to press X over Drive Club, it will now download it again, but this time it's gonna go onto my internal storage because my external storage has been disconnected. Also remember that if it's a disk based game, then you will still need the disk to play it. So for example, if you were to bring this to your friend's house, then you will still need to bring the disk to be able to get you access to it. So just because you put it on here, it doesn't just start working. If it's a disk based game, you will still need the disk. If you bought it on the PlayStation Store, then you will still need to sign in with your PlayStation Network ID. Okay, so we're on a different PlayStation now, signed into a different PlayStation Network ID, so your PSN ID. So pretend now that this is around a friend's house. Let's see what happens when we plug this in. So we've plugged that in there now, and we can see that the little light is lit up on it. So now, let's see if it will bring up. Right, so it's brought up Drive Club up there. I'm gonna press X. Now, just to let you know, Drive Club is not on this PlayStation here. Right, so it says cannot use the content. To use the content, you have to purchase it from the PlayStation Store. So basically, only the person that has the rights to play the game can play the game. So what I'll have to do now is I will have to sign into this PlayStation as myself, and then I should be able to play it. The good thing about the hard drive is I shouldn't have to download anything again because it's already there. Right, so I'm just going to sign in as a guest now. So I'm going to take the camera off. Right, okay, so I've signed in as myself now. So now let's go to Drive Club and see what's going to happen now. And there we go, you see now it will let us play it. So I just want to see if it saved my data. Now I am a member of PlayStation Plus, so all my save data goes up into the cloud. So in theory, it should save it here. Right, okay, so it didn't actually start where I left off on the other one. It was the same as a brand new game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit options and I'm gonna go over to upload, download, save data and now I'm gonna press X. And now I'm gonna go over to my online storage and I'm gonna go down to download all. So I'm gonna press X there. The follow application will close, so I'm gonna press X. And now it says here, do you want to overwrite this saved data? I'm gonna do apply to all. I'm gonna to go to yes and then press X. Right now I'm gonna to go to cancel there and let's see what happens now. So there you go, as you can see, it is now working from where we left the game before. Now don't forget, when you leave your friend's house, you're gonna to have to safely remove the device again on their one. Even though you didn't format it to their system, you still have to go through the process of safely removing it by holding down the PlayStation button, go into sound and devices, and then go into stop using the extended storage device. So by using a hard drive like that, it's quite good because not only does it give you additional storage on your PlayStation, but it means you can now bring it to a friend's house and you can play your games on their PlayStation without having to download everything on their PlayStation. Obviously, you don't need a hard drive to do that. You can use your PlayStation network to sign into anybody's PlayStation and download your games onto that. The only problem is you've then got to wait there one hour or two hours or however long it's gonna take because they might have a slow internet connection. So by bringing your hard drive with you, it then gives you more options to move your favorite games around to your friend's house. Now, if you're having problems with this, I'm gonna show you some error codes and you can just pause the video and look at them.
there you go so hopefully that video was useful to you if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if it's helped you out please subscribe for more how-to videos take care bye now